Urban Therapy with Sun Sun 752, and this is your daily go get em ism number 588. For May 13, 2016, Friday the 13th. We're going to have to make quick work in this one because they're having like a little function on the block right outside the studio, and uh, they're making an awful lot of no noise with that static box going on, so we're going to have to do this thing with the quickness. Listen, tonight I wanted to talk to y'all about something a little bit off the cuff, but it was something that was on my mind yesterday, and... I wanted to try to give some clarity to what I think is going on with this situation. I want to talk about George Zimmerman. George Zimmerman was the the white slash Latino dude who murdered Trayvon Martin in 2012 and was acquitted of his murder in 2013. Uh, yesterday, on March 12th, Thursday, March 12th, it was revealed on the internet and, and on the national, local and national news programs that he is selling the gun that he killed Trayvon Martin with. Now, a lot of people are up in arms about this, going crazy, um, because they feel like it's a form of disrespect for him to be sell, auctioning off the gun. He's not even just selling it. Um, he's auctioning off the gun, and he's auctioning off the gun on the internet. So the last I heard, I think the bidding was up to like five thousand dollars or whatever. And you know, black people are really pissed off about this. Uh, it's like an insult to add. It's like adding insult to injury because it was bad enough that he he got acquitted, fully acquitted of the murder. I'm not even sure if if his um, if Trayvon Martin's parents received any any m money in a civil trial. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. I'm, I'm not really sure about that. Actually, to me, that doesn't matter. When you lose a loved one, especially a 17-year-old um, child, uh, no, no amount of money can compensate for the life that you have lost and the tragedy that you that you suffered for, from, um, from and the, the, the pain that you're going to feel because of that loss of life so senseless like that and unjustifiable now my personal feelings about this this George Zimmerman guy is honestly I feel like he's an agent I don't know if, like if he's an agent of the Illuminati I don't know if he's an agent of the government I, all I know all I think should I say is that somebody is protecting him this man is the only killer that I know who was a nobody, who emerges in the public eye at least two times a year since he was acquitted of murder. I have not known another murderer, even Charles Manson, who actually never committed a murder, but I've never seen anybody this visible who didn't shrink and shrink out of the limelight after, after a killing and after an acquittal. You would think that he would want to just leave that life behind and, you know, um, fade away into obscurity. But he hasn't done that. He's he's remained very visible since the murder. All kinds of stuff. Offering to do celebrity boxing matches and all. I mean, the the atrocity of 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 his actions and, and the, his behavior. It's. It's really something. And nobody has done anything to this man. You know, when during the trial, during the, the, the Trayvon Martin trial, there were a bunch of people on the internet saying how they were going to riot if, if, if it was if, it, if a non-guilty verdict came through. And nobody did anything when the non-guilty verdict was handed down. Probably for good reason. You know, I, I wasn't... A, I wasn't um, I didn't think that it would have been a good idea for us to 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 riot when the non guilt the not guilty verdict was handed down because that would have just have got get given the the court system the legal the criminal justice system another reason to lock a bunch of us up for a long time and and for us not to be acquitted of charges the way George Zimmerman was acquitted we wouldn't have received those acquittals you know, they we would have been punished harshly, and it would have been a reason for them to initiate martial law, and it, it, it would have just been a big mess. But if you say that you're going to do something, if you say you're going to ride for somebody or ride for a cause, you got to do it. 
and nobody did anything. And you're not going to tell me that the reason that nobody did anything was because they, because that was somehow unifying us. So it's, it's, it's amazing to me that I'm seeing so many people online saying things like, this guy got to go. Why hasn't somebody killed him yet? Well, the reason that I think that nobody has killed him yet is because I think he's protected. I think that he's very protected, and that's why nobody has lent, uh, laid a finger on him. I think that somebody is making sure that, that every little thing that he does makes national news, makes headlines, uh, is, is blasted all over the internet. And of course, we live in, in the internet age where you can find out anything about anybody at any time doing anything. But something is different about this man because he seems, he appears to be fearless. And I also feel like that the reason that he enters the limelight a couple of times a year is because. I think that we're being distracted from something else that's going on out there. I can't say what it is. But for a while, they were doing doing the same thing with Bill Cosby. When Bill Cosby would get all of these accusations by these women coming forth 30 and 40 years ago about sexual, se sexual assault by Bill Cosby, it happened when they were, when they acquitted the, the uh, well, Decided not to press any charges against the the policeman who killed um, Mike Brown. See, there's a lot of distractions. It's like a magic trick. You know, magicians make sure that you're concentrating on what they want you to concentrate. So while they're doing this, their other hand is doing something else. And that's how they get the magic trick over. So you're looking at this. And they want you to look at that. But they're doing something else with this. And I think that there's something going on with this George Zimmerman guy. I can't put my finger on it. I, I don't know what they're trying to distract us from with him. But I know that they're tr trying to distract us from something else that is important that we should be taking, taking notice of. Because why should we really care? Why should we know that this man is auctioning off the gun that he killed Trayvon Martin with? Why should we know that? There's no reason why we should know that. But we do, and they make sure that we knew it. We even know how much the gun is going for and all of this kind of stuff because it's going to send us in an, up, in an uproar and in, in, in a rage. So while we're worried about this man selling a gun, he's selling a gun. He's selling a gun. There's no reason we should know about him selling a gun, but we do. And one thing about television and the media is that they can teach you anything that they want you to teach. I mean... They can teach you anything that they want you to know. They'll teach you anything that they want to teach you. They'll show you anything that they want to show you. They control all of that. So if you know about him auctioning off his gun, it ain't because of him. It's because of them. So we have to find out what's, what, what is making them shove this murderer in your face. Because something else is there. So my suggestion to you is to find out, you know. Don't give this don't don't give this guy any more your attention. No matter what he does, don't give him your attention. Keep your concentration on what you know to be important. Keep your eyes on the prize. You know, if, if it's the political election or, or something like that, make sure you keep your concentration on that. This is a distraction, and we as black people have more more things to do, better things to do than to be worried about this clown. He's an attention seeker, sort of like Donald Trump. So we need to stop looking. Simple as that. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours. And listen, don't allow the media to distract you from the things that you know are important in your life. Don't allow them to take you off track. Especially when there's nothing that you can really do about the situation. If, you're, if we're truly powerless in this, in, in this situation, then we need to just turn it off. Because when they can't get what they want, they have to try something else. We don't want to give them something. We need to try something else. But we got bigger fish to fry. Rest in peace, Trayvon. Rest in peace, Mike Brown. Rest in peace, all of, of Sandra Bland and all of the other 
na all, all of the victims, the nameless victims, the ones that, that didn't get famous, who were killed while they were unarmed by murderous, racist police officers. May you all rest in peace. I'll holler at y'all later. Oh, one last thing. The Mind, Right, and Body Better Fitness Program is tomorrow, May, 5th, May 14th. 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at the McVeigh Recreation Center in Philadelphia, 400 East Ontario Street on the corner of D Street and Ontario Street. Make sure y'all come through. It's always going to be a stone gas, honey. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.